Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Screeny. Ellen seems like the most laid-back person in show business, but don't let that fool you. When it comes to her show, this lady has rules. The audience always looks super happy on Ellen, which is surprising given how much they have to go through simply to get a seat. It's not all plain sailing, and a lot is required of the guests that you might not have realized. So, before you try and get a spot in the audience, check out these rules Ellen makes her guests follow. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos about your favorite movies and TV shows. No real cameras. Most of us like to get a snap or two when we go do fun things, don't we? It's just a part of documenting a moment in time that we'd like to remember. Unfortunately for Ellen fans, cameras are strictly banned. So think twice before you try to recreate her famous Oscar selfie, unless you use your phone. Smartphone cameras are allowed as long as the flash is turned off so that it doesn't A, distract Ellen, or B, show up on the film's version. Most people have smartphones these days, so this one isn't too much of a big deal, but if you're an old-fashioned type guy or gal, then leave the disposable camera at home and just soak in the experience. You won't be able to look back on it, so you may as well enjoy it while you're there. Luckily, this is 2019, and it hasn't proved to be much of an issue so far. No food or drinks this isn't the cinema, people. Leave those milk duds at home. When it comes to being a guest on The Ellen Show, the experience is pretty long. It involves a lot of waiting. Waiting in line to go into the set, waiting for Ellen to come out, waiting in between guests, waiting for adjusts. It's not just a one or two hour thing. That being said, guests can get peckish. Audience members are allowed to eat when they're in the waiting line, but strictly forbidden to eat once they're in their seats. Why? Let's look at this objectively. Who wants to turn on their TV set and see a bunch of random people stuffing their faces while Ellen looks on from the stage? It's just not the dumb thing. Ellen isn't the only one to put a ban on audience snacking either. In fact, it's pretty much a rule for any show that has a live audience. It's messy, and no one wants to see that. Plus, think about the poor crew that have to clean up afterwards. Better safe than sorry. Colorful clothes only. When you think about The Ellen Show, you think about fun and laughter, don't you? Ellen has built an entire empire on being the happy, smiley, light-hearted talk show host. There's no in-depth questioning of celebrities, very few hard-hitting questions, and everything is always wrapped up in a joke. With that being said, it's important that the audience also keep the aesthetic going by wearing bright clothes and leaving the black at home. Nothing is strictly banned, but Ellen asks her guests to wear happy colors that pop out, rather than boring black or white unless it's paired with a fun color. Jeans are fine too, as long as they're dressy and not the same pair you've been doing the gardening in for the last 10 years. It's not unheard of for guests to be turned away if they look too scruffy to be on camera, so if you're planning to be on the guest list, then it might be worth taking a trip to the mall beforehand. Gifts must be declared. Ellen fans are among some of the best in the world, so it's not surprising that audience members often bring the star gifts in the hope that they may be able to meet her in person. Sadly, it's just not safe these days for items to be sent straight to the host, so guests are asked to let security know. They will then be directed to a special checkpoint where guards will look over the item in question before deciding if it reaches the generous. The star never accepts the gifts herself, but hey ho, that's the world we live in. Is it kind of crappy that we have to do this? Yeah, but it is 2019, and the last thing anyone wants is for someone with bad intentions to get the opportunity to do something nasty, especially when it concerns the first lady of talk shows. Ellen must be protected at all costs! Tickets can't be sold. Maybe you've landed Ellen tickets, but suddenly realize that you can't make it. What a bummer, right? Never mind, reimburse yourself for the travel expenses you've already paid for by selling the ticket on eBay. Or not. 
No matter the situation, all tickets are strictly unsaleable and can't be transferred into another name. Some people have tried to auction off tickets in the past for charitable causes, but this isn't allowed either. It could be that this is a security risk, or it could be because Ellen simply doesn't want anyone making money off resales when the tickets are given away for free. Either way, be sure you can actually make the date if you're one of the lucky few to land tickets. If you're not 100% sure, don't apply, and let's someone else have your seat. You can't be shy. We've all seen Ellen pick out audience members who have a surprise in store that they didn't know about. Guests often look shocked and mortified when they're plucked out of the audience, but it's usually for something good. Even if you're not picked on specifically, ticket holders are expected to get up and interact with the show when Ellen requires it. There's a lot of dancing. With that being said, if you're shy and don't want to shake your moneymaker on screen, then you're better off going to see the Dr. Phil show. Ellen asks all of her audience members to be ready to fully participate in anything that she has coming, from Magic Mike Live to her opening numbers. It's all about the full experience. One audience member that traveled all the way from Australia didn't expect to be on her feet for so long during the taping explained that they all boogied on down for a solid 25 minutes before the host herself made her way onto the stage. After a long standing ovation, she then danced into the audience before everyone finally sat down. Two weeks notice for special needs. If you've got any form of physical disability, then going to the theater can be a difficult experience. Some people aren't equipped to deal with special needs, which can be a huge downer for any day out. The Ellen Show goes above and beyond to make sure that everyone is catered to, though, as long as they are made aware of the requirements two weeks before the day. The show emails fans once they've confirmed their attendance and asks them to reply directly if they need anything in particular. That's pretty amazing considering most venues don't bother and you have to either contact them yourself or turn up and hope for the best. This is Ellen though, and she's big on inclusivity, so you can bet your bottom dollar that she's going to roll out the red carpet and make everyone feel welcome. Dance Row guests must be happy. So on top of being happy, smiley, and dressed properly for the occasion, there's an extra level of chipper required from the audience members sat in the dance row. The dance row is the row Ellen dances on for the majority of her opening number, and it's usually predetermined before filming. A member of the production team usually tells the audience members on these aisle seats that Ellen will be dancing next to them so they can get ready and put on their best Hollywood smiles. Those that feel camera shy are given the opportunity to move seats, but it's generally frowned upon. Why go to the Ellen show if you don't want to dance with Ellen? It just doesn't make sense. No matching outfits allowed. Sometimes it's tempting to go all out on day trips like this, and some groups like to get t-shirts made for the occasion. Not only are these types of outfits cringeworthy as hell, but they're not allowed. If you turn up wearing fancy dress or coordinating clothes, then you'll be denied entry at the door. Ellen also has a clothing line, but you're not allowed to wear any of her stuff to the show either, probably because of advertisement restriction rules. It seems a bit harsh of the superstar to make such a fuss given she's usually so laid back, but there's usually a reason for these things. We just don't know for sure what it is yet. Besides, does anyone really want to appear on TV wearing lame printed t-shirts? The answer is no. We hope. No guests under 14. Audience members can't bring the little ones along for the ride unless they are aged 14 or older. Even though Ellen has young guests on the show and it's usually family friendly, there are strict age rules. No one under the age of 14 can come, and anyone under 18 has to be accompanied by an adult. What's more, the teenagers have to prove their age by providing illegal documents like a birth certificate, passport, school ID card, or driving license if they're old enough to have one. Without that, they're not getting through the door. On certain episodes, they don't allow children in whatsoever though, like when Channing Tatum made an appearance to promote Magic Mike Live. Male strippers gave one hell of a performance that was not suitable for kids to watch at home let alone live. Thank you very much for watching today's video. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more amazing content, and don't forget to check out one of the other two videos on your screen.